Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from VitalCoaching.com and we are talking about dating success for men. The topic for this video is what if she wants to take over your life. This is going to happen very often when you start dating a girl or a woman, she will start behaving in a very needy way. For instance, she, if she calls you, you know, she leaves you a voicemail and you don't call back within the hour, she's going to be, to be upset with you. In other ways, she's going to kind of start blackmailing you emotionally. She's going to start uh, limiting your freedom, tell you what to do or when to do it, etc. So this can happen very early in the first, you know, second or third date. If you see this, you have to be extremely careful because these are really, uh, you know, bad warning signs. The thing to do with, uh, with this kind of situations is don't let her walk all over you, okay? You have to give her boundaries straight away. You have to tell her that uh, this is not working for you, okay? The best way to do that is not at the first date itself, but eventually have a chat with her a little bit later and let her know that, you know, you are in charge of your life. It's very important to give her the feeling, the impression that this is what you do, this is what you want. You are not here to give up your life. You are not here to give her your life and the control seat in your existence. You stay in charge at all times in your existence. And very often, when you are within the dating, con dating context, within the dating situations, women will tend to behave like they own you very fast. I mean, you probably have uh, had experiences uh, along that line. If you find yourself in a situation where this starts happening, where a woman starts, tries really to, to boss you around, to tell you what to do, limit your time, freedom, organize your schedule, then these are big warning signs and you have to put very strict boundaries straight away. If you let it happen, that's going to become even worse. And uh, most of the times it leads to a situation where tension starts building and conflict rising. So don't let it happen and the best way to, uh, to let her know that this is not working for you is to tell her, really, you have to tell her, hey, I am the one who makes decisions for my own life. I appreciate the fact that you want to decide for me what I'm going to eat or what I'm going to wear or where I'm going to be on Saturday night, but, you know, I'm grown up and I make my own choices, okay? This kind of directive answer works wonders because you are telling her, hey, don't step all over my life. I am the one who is in charge of my existence and this is, going, this is the way it's going to stay if you are dating me, okay? If you give her that kind of message, you think, okay, may I, maybe I'm going to lose her, it's possible. But most probably she's going to start respecting you more for that because you stand on your two feet, you are extremely confident when you tell her that and this sends out really a clear message of power. You are not limiting her freedom by, by saying that, you're not being controlling, but you're saying, hey, it's my existence and I have the right to make my own choices, okay? So remember that, don't let her walk all over you, stay in charge of your life, and if you see somebody, you know, uh, a woman who really wants to, to start controlling some aspects of your existence, don't let it happen, stay in charge, and uh, you will both benefit from that, okay? You take care, and have a great day, bye-bye.